I'm from Dallas, got a 214 number. But I'm smoking on some 310 number. Rich shit, a bunch of niggas and some foreign wheelers. Obviously, we not your average or your normal nigga. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Phobic here, bringing you guys some more Black Ops 3 content. And today, I kind of have a story to tell you guys. So, the day before Halloween, I went and took my driving test. I passed an 82, and I did pretty good. There were a couple mistakes that I made, but overall, the driving test was the most nerve-wracking experience of my life. It was awful. So, you know, I walked in thinking it's just going to be a quick in-and-out type of thing. I'm going to walk in, check in, wait for maybe five minutes, go take the test, and leave. No, apparently I went on one of their busiest days of the month. I waited for probably close to two and a half hours before I even took the test. Now, remind you, I went, I got to the testing place at 11.15, and I didn't leave there until almost two. The test itself took maybe 15 minutes of that. And the person that I was testing was a little short, black lady, very nice person, by the way, like, like, nice. I could ask her a question, she wouldn't rip my head off for it, but we get in the car, you know, go through all the controls, and before we even leave the parking lot, she told me to turn right down the parking lot and go out. I made a left, and I thought she was going to kill me, but we get across the street into, like, the neighborhood where they test. And it went well, but she said probably four or five words the entire time. Most of the words were turn left in it at the next street, turn left at the next street, pull over here, do this, do that, whatever. It was really nerve wracking. And every once in a while, you'd hear a sigh or just exhale really loud. And she's riding that stupid little clipboard that she has. And it was the scariest experience of my life just seeing her right on that clipboard. And not to mention, she gets in the car, sits down, leans the seat back a little bit, and just ha has her hand on, like, the little, like, oh shit handle with the window down. Oh my god. And, you know, I'm, I'm going through, I roll one stop sign. I didn't really roll it, I stopped for, like, maybe two seconds, where I have to stop for, like, three or four. And she goes, y now you need to make sure you come to a complete stop at every stop sign. I'm like, okay. But... We're going through, we're driving, and I guess I hit something, like a squirrel or something. I hear this loud ass bang! Like it was, it was like a grenade just went off on, under my car. And the person giving me the test looks at, in the rearview mirror, looks behind us and goes, I don't know what that was, but the car's still moving, that's all that matters. I'm like, okay. And my mom during this entire thing is out front of the testing place, pacing up and like up. So we get back, I parallel park, pass out flying colors, I don't know how, because I've never parallel parked ever until that moment. You know, she makes me park the farthest parking spot at the end of the parking lot, and she doesn't tell me if I passed or anything. She makes me walk the entire length of the parking lot to where my mom is out front. That's whenever she tells me I passed, what I needed to work on, that kind of thing. But driving test, most nerve wracking experience of my life. Am I glad I passed it? Yeah. Do I drive a lot? No. But I thought I'd tell you guys a story of my driving test since you guys heard about the car accident my dad got into at the end of the video a couple days ago. Maybe yesterday. I'm not too sure whenever it went up. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you've taken your driving test before or had uh, an experience like me. Comment with your stories and i'll talk to y'all later goodbye